The AL Central leading Chicago White Sox at 46 and 41 are headed to San Fran to take on the 48 and 42 Giants right before the All Star break. The final game before the official All Star break, Mookie Betts will be participating in the Home Run Derby for the White Sox. And uh, other players will be participating in the All Star game Betts, probably Matt Fayes, probably Humberto Fuentes, etc., etc. Madison Bumgarner will be the pitcher for the Padres as Juan Moncada in the first inning. With a down-the-line shot, but a beautiful play by Eduardo Nunez. And that would be a big play by Nunez. That's going to save the Giants from allowing a run. It's Humberto Fuentes, the very next batter. The, the young 21-year-old midget taking it deep to left field. I believe his 18th home run of the season. Not quite as good of a start as earlier in the season, but he's still playing very well. Pitching for the Sox is going to be Aaron Sanchez, who hasn't had a bad year. But hasn't had a good year either. It's been a very strange season for him. Uh, let's go. First inning is the White Sox with a nice double play right there from third to second to first. Now second inning with a runner on first. The catcher, Timothy Griffin, would take it deep into center field. No need to hustle along the base passes. We have time, Timmy. And the White Sox would extend their lead, making it 3-0 as Timothy Griffin. I believe that was his fourth or fifth on the year. I'm not entirely sure. But Timothy Griffin with a nice shot. Now later in the second inning will be Juan Moncada once again. And he's going to be out after a nice play by the center fielder Carlos Gomez, the veteran journeyman. Now bottom of the second inning, Brandon Crawford back, 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 and gone. Big game for Crawford. We will see more of him very shortly. That's a splash bomb right there. End of the water. Someone will get that even though it's raining and how many people are in the water. As right there, strike out looking, I believe that was Nunez. And then in the third inning, a single right there for the Giants, but the runner on sec or second would not try to get home. But Brandon Bell would just do the dirty work, getting the RBI single, making it 3-2. to two. So, bottom of the third inning, Brandon Crawford. Do it once. Why not do it twice? It's Brandon Car Crawford, exact same spot, deja vu. Now it's 5-3, fourth inning, as Nolan Arenado, last year's MVP, would go uh, right off the first base line, but it will still be a single. And then Timothy Griffin, he did it once. Why not do it again? It's Timothy Griffin would take that one deep. No, he's not been having a great year. But he certainly had a great day with two home runs. Two big boys, welcome to the club. The multi-home run club a with uh, Brandon Crawford. Now, still in the fourth inning, score is all tied up at five. As with a runner on first, Juan Mancata. He's going to be shopping gap. That'll be extra bases. Tim Anderson would score all the way from first. And it's now six to five. So a lot of runs so far in this baseball game. Mancata would actually get to third. Now, bottom of a fourth inning, as that was, I believe, Eduardo Nunez, back, 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 and gone. Oh, I thought that was a home run. I'm stupid. That's not a home run. That is actually a very far single. And then later in the inning, that would be off the left field line. That will be a one-run double. And then not too long later, strikeout, big strikeout for... Uh, Aaron Sanchez, but he would leave the game after the fourth inning. It'll be A.J. Cole, the long reliever, entering it as Brandon Crawford. Third time's a charm as going with a splash bomb. So it says 72 splash hits. Uh, Brandon Crawford certainly continue, er, cer certainly helped that number as Tim Anderson with a nice deep shot there. Not a home run, but he's still all going to make it all the way to third base. With a triple, three for four on the day with a triple and two singles for Tim Anderson. Now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. in his a pinch hitter with a one-two. Count would strike out. Swinging. Now, let's go bottom six. Carl Edwards Jr. is pitching. And that would not be a great start for Carl Edwards Jr. this day. As that would be a home run for the Giants making a nine to six game right there. So... Brandon Belt now up in the sixth inning. And Brandon Belt, he certainly can hit power. He's going in the home run derby too, but uh, he's a glass looker because he's just looking. Now Brandon Crawford in the sixth. He's not doing it four times in a row, is he? As he would strike out on the check swing. Now seventh inning as the Mook man, Mookie Betts, 
with a nice shot there. He's shopping the gap. That's where he gets his clothes for his kids. And that'll be a double four for Mook, man. Mookie bets. Now, ninth inning, Andrew Benintendi and as a pitch hitter got the day off. The White Sox last chance, and he would get a base hit. And now, I believe this is Yon Mankata for the game. Strike three. Gi the Giants would win it. 49-42.